Sabrina here, your Lucid Living Coach. Alright, so it is Tuesday. I am really feeling urged to tell my little story that happened to me today because I am just in like a shock, kind of in awe about just how awesome God and the universe is and how he brings so many signs and synchronicities that it's really hard to ignore. Um, so I had a dream last night of an owl and he had like a red bandana on and I was looking out a window and he kept like running towards the window and pecking it. And I'm like, no, 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 stop. No, 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 stop. And he kept doing it. And the reason why I wanted to stop is because I was afraid he was going to break the window. Um, but he was trying to like wake me up. You know, he's like, do I really have to do this? So I was just trying to figure out what the dream was saying. And then I come across on Facebook feed the story about the guy from 9-11 that actually worked as a investment banker at the tower when the, um, the really unfortunate event happened. And apparently he had called his dad and said that, you know, he, he wants to change his profession and be a firefighter. He wants to, you know, you know, make a difference in the world. And he's always been a team player and he said that he doesn't want to die in front of a computer screen. Well, I guess throughout his whole childhood, he, he wore like this red bandana around and I guess, you know, he used it for, I don't know, his snot or something there was one white rag for the snot one red rag. anyways he's had this red handkerchief he's carried around since he was a kid he was like you know he went to uh, Boston College and like he was a really good student a really good team player and sports guy and he ended up saving so many people in that he wasn't even a firefighter like on paper but he was a real hero. Like he went in that building and he saved a lot of people and he ended up going down with the ashes and some of the people that he saved are still alive today to tell the story. I thought it was super moving and it was kind of funny because I was like trying to figure out where the red bandana came in. Then I went to the gym. I mean, literally my hair is still wet. And I did like this aquatic Zumba class that I've never done before. And I thought, ah, I'll give it a try. I was tired from work. I hadn't eaten. So I'm like, this should be like a fun new experience. And I'm outside. Um, I had a great time. And then I'm driving home and I'm just like blasting my music. And I was on, you know, this old, old road to come down into my little town and I see a huge owl and his wingspan is huge but you can, you know that they're owls because I've had quite a few living in front of my place and there was like white underneath and I haven't seen my owls around so I've been a little worried I think someone maybe cut down the tree that they were living in who knows but I was a little like very happy to see that owl flying around so I pull over and I'm like looking at him and just admiring his beauty. And then I see a car coming up behind me and I was like, oh shit, I don't want to get hit. So I, I continued forward and I'm on now on the windy road that takes me down and I see something in the middle of the road and I'm like, oh shit. So I get my stick and I, I put it down to slow down. It was a freaking owl looking straight at me I almost hit it I swerved he didn't move it was like so magical and creepy all at the same time I'm still in shock like I, I literally had chills for the last hour and I was like okay I need to do a little video to share that experience because 
that's just synchronicity after synchronicity and that's not it so I got my cards out because I want to pull a card um, right when I got in town some something said because I couldn't just stop what like I wanted to stop there was a car behind me he unfortunately didn't see the owl I asked him it was the cutest little freaking owl too he was like oh he's so with the white he was a barn owl and um it was like he was looking straight at me because my lights were shining on him well he probably couldn't see me but I saw him and his little face and I can't believe it didn't fly away that's the thing because I you know I could have hit him but I just kind of went around him I was kind of pissed at him for just being in the middle of the street like that but um some things you know need to be thrown in your face like that so anyway something just told me go drive to the top top of the town there's like a really steep hill that you go up so I'm like go going up and I just want to get to the top maybe I could just like chill up um, like chill out up there and see if I see the owl again because I think they're freaking magic and cool so I'm driving up and something says well just turn on some streets that you would never normally turn on. And then I was like, and just see where it goes. Because I've lived here literally all my life, and I have not explored all of the hills. So I was driving, and, and, one, and I look at one of the street names, and it's Wells. I was like, oh my God, that was just in the video of that guy who saved. So that's like confirmation that the dream was about being a hero and a savior and sometimes it is okay to love people and by loving people you're loving yourself like this guy like loved people so much that he put his own life ahead of the other people I mean it's kind of the same story as Jesus like who the hell does that just like gives their self to people of his office building you know I don't know that's pretty unreal but it just reminds me no it's okay to love people but also you're loving yourself so it's because everyone is a mere reflection of ourselves, you know, because we are the collective unconscious. All of us together, we are all connected. And so loving yourself is loving others. Like taking care of yourself is taking care of others. And taking care of others and the way you treat others is literally a reflection of how you feel and treat yourself. So I just wanted to put that out there because that was unreal. I mean, just, I still see that little owl's face. He was so cute. But I'm gonna pick a card. So I'm clearing the deck, I cleared the deck. It's like, I need this hematite to like ground my ass because I've been flying high today. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Oops, that just flew out like. <sighs> okay, so there's two cards here. If there's an owl on it, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> okay, butterflies on this one. This one's card 35. Culmination of vision. Ooh. It's like the tree, listening to the trees and the winds and the animals. And then this one is infinite blessings. Ah, uh, it's like the infinite waters. I love that guy. Okay, and that's kind of cool. This little fairyland chick. Spreading her fairy dust, her magic dust. All right, well, let me get to reading them. Where's my book? Where's my book, my book, my book, my book? And, it's, you know, I love when I pick cards and I've never picked them before really exciting it's like opening up a birthday present all right found it oh 
hope and happiness was left out of the deck. Okay. 35. So we'll read that one first. Time to take positive action towards your goals and dreams. Be adaptable and fine tune any of the details of what you are creating. Reflect on your desires and make sure your attitudes and beliefs are in alignment with what you wish to accomplish. Let go of any aspect or quality that no longer fits what you intend to accomplish. That's so, that's so funny. That's kind of been um, calling me. It's just like really letting go of energy that is no longer serving my heart purpose. Okay, so the next one, 17. Infinite blessings. Boom, boom, shake the room. Open your heart and your reality to the immeasurable gifts from nature. Loving energy is surrounding you. Love from the highest level is being showered onto you and your life. Count your blessings and remember that love is all around you. Notice these miracles and blessings as they show up in unexpected ways, but always at the most conspicuous time. Your life may not be exactly as you anticipated, but be sure to look for your miracles. Ah, that's so true. Ah. Oh, I love this one. Both of them were really good. So it's like just, just, you know, that little thing of like, the owls trying to speak to me and stuff. I mean, that's a blessing in itself, you know? I like that. There you have it, guys. You have the two cards, infinite blessings and culmination of vision and keeping that awesome guy in your, in, in your mind and ask yourself, like, how... Or who would you like to be known for when you die? Because he was still an investment banker, but he died what he wanted to be, a hero and a firefighter. He wasn't a firefighter until that, till he passed. So we could learn from him by taking the chance and taking the action of who you want to be now before it's too late. He got to be who he wanted to be on his last day that he lived. Ah, it's crazy, it's huge. Could you imagine if that didn't happen? And let's say that he was a firefighter, how many lives he could have saved throughout his life if he was an investment banker and he really ended up going into the profession that he really wanted to do or why he was even in that profession was it exterior people that was like oh you need a you know a good paying job and blah 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 or you know that that's my question we can make our own choices in our life right now and make them count because we can save a lot of lives if we're in our purpose and in our passion. That guy was in his purpose right before he died. And he saved quite a few people. But imagine how many he could have saved if he would have got in earlier. Think about that. I don't know. Just something to think about, guys. All right. Well, have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. That's crazy. All right, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and if you'd like a personal reading from me, I have my email in the link below as well. So make it a great evening, guys. Peace out.